Hey everybody, welcome back to 613 Mopar. If it's your first time here, just welcome. Today, it's gonna be a little bit of a different episode. Today, we're taking a little road trip. Not gonna be really car related today. Actually, the only thing Mopar related is the fact that we are going in the Hemi. Now, where are we going? We're gonna take a little ride to Port Hope. And why are we taking a ride to Port Hope? Well, see, not only are Mrs. Mopar and I car people, we are also horror movie fans, fans of Stephen King. And Port Hope is where a significant portion of the 2017 movie, it based off his novel, uh, was filmed. So, yeah, we're going to take a little road trip. It's here, it's like 8 billion early BS o'clock, and nobody should be up this early on a weekend, but let's take a ride to Port Hope. Or should I say, let's see you in Derry. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switches how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh God, adrenaline wasted. So mad I can taste it. I know there's no turning back. Sometimes on a road trip, you gotta stop. Nature calls, stretch your legs, do stuff like that. You know how it goes. Now that I'm gone, yeah, I know there's no turning back. I'll do take smoke, I'ma poke a hole through you, choking's overdue. Uh, Come at me and you won't get any older, do crack your hold or two. Uh, Heating up inside of me, blood so violently, thanks for trying me. Right. Now it's finally time to see how this rivalry becomes a dynasty. in the town of Derry. Smell that, huh? It's the Derry air. Now the first thing we're gonna see in our tour is the door for quality meats. They have maintained the dressing here for the movie even though the business here is obviously not quality meats. And of course, you might wreck this building as the building where Beverly shares an apartment with Yusuf's father. The staircase is a dead giveaway. Now we are coming up on a place called the Nook, which was the pharmacy in the movie. At the time of filming, it apparently was the, pharma the town pharmacy here in Port Hope, so 
you know, they didn't have to do an awful lot of work to get it set up for the movie, but now it's nooks. So here we are approaching the Capitol Theater, which you know, stands out in the movie just like it does in, in real life. Where Richie plays, where Richie plays uh, Street Fighter in the lobby. Ah, let's go take a look inside. Oh no, maybe not. Let me see inside. Still a functional theater. If you want to read this, you can just go ahead and pause. And now we are approaching the town park in Port Hope, which also stands out in the movie, including this little bandstand here. Of course, there's no huge Paul Bunyan statue, which is the statue that ends up chasing them around, but... Grandstand is something else. There we get a better view of the grandstand or bandstand, whatever you want to call it. Of course, right over there, we will get a closer look at uh, Port Hope Town Hall, which is the library of Derry in the movie. Now, here's a better shot of the Town Hall of Port Hope better known as the I guess the public library in Derry. It was called the public library. It's a library where all the research is done on the history. This is more or less downtown Derry right here. Nice. And this is the street corner where the Losers Club bikes down the street towards the town of Derry. Well, this is what is left of the huge field that the Losers Club walked through in order to go towards the Barrens. Now, the Barrens, uh, anything that took place in the Barrens was not filmed here that is actually in a park out in Scarborough, but this is where they filmed the, uh, the Losers Club starting to make their trek. Well, that concludes our day in Port Hope or Derry, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, uh, to be honest with you, uh, while we were over there, I totally forgot to film an outro while we were there, so getting that done now. Nice. YouTube fail there. Um, anyway, uh, we had a great time. Um, we kind of got, you know, enamored by the architecture and all the, uh, all, all the, the vibe and whatnot that around the town that, you know, I totally forgot at some points that I even had the camera with me, but we did get the video, uh, all the things that we went to see regarding the movie. Um, also wanted to mention, um, if you do ever head out that way and, uh, you're checking out some of the some of the sites around there um got that park with the um the bandstand or grandstand whatever you want to call it right across the street there's a, another park the nice creek that runs through it with a little walking bridge that goes over the creek go ahead take that bridge and right when you cross you take a look to the left and there's a place called captain george's fish and chips well, we stopped there for a bite and i gotta tell you it's some of the best fish and chips that i have ever had so by all means you know Go check that out. You're going to want it. Um, and also, uh, I forgot to mention, there, there's no trip, road trip along the 401 that is complete, you know, without a stop at a place called the uh, the Big Apple out in Coburg. Uh, right off the highway, if you're taking the highway. Um, not far off Highway 2, if you're, you're taking Highway 2. Um, if you're on the 401, you can't miss the huge apple. It's got to be about, you know, three or four floors high um, yeah they, they sell a lot of apple products in there apple pies apple bread 
There's actually a barbecue there and now a huge petting zoo. It's a great stop for uh, it's a, great, a great stop for you to bring the family when you uh, need a place to rest. Maybe get the kids tired out and uh, you know give them a chance to, to sleep when you continue on the route. So anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, like, like the video down below. There's a little like button down there somewhere. Also a subscribe button. Leave some comments and uh, we'll see you next time.